everyone, welcome back to another lesson of Actual English with me, Jennifer Clyde. It is a wonderful pleasure to have you joining me. Uh, it's time for lesson 21, and as I did mention, ending our food category, uh, we will be moving on to our health. Things we do to become healthier, such as keeping a healthy diet, a balanced diet, eating the right foods, the good foods, for example. And we'll also talk about perhaps exercising or working out and so on and so forth. Today, let's focus on diet. Now, I did mention today's topic has nothing to do with losing weight. Of course, you could keep a balanced diet or change your diet in order to lose weight. But of course, let's focus more on keeping a balanced, you know, balanced diet, eating the right foods from each category. So, my question for you is, do you eat enough vegetables, fruits and vegetables? Do you only eat meat and you hate vegetables? Well, that's not healthy, as we all know. So, moderation is key and balance is very important as well. Okay, let's dive in then. Here is today's actual talk. So, Rachel, my wife is always stressing about her weight, uh -huh. and many girls I know are on a constant diet. That's true. Is that true. the same with you? I guess if you say constant <laughs> diet, that is true, because I try to be healthy all year round. Oh, wow. So, um, I guess a healthy lifestyle. So, sure. in that sense, I guess it's a constant diet. I, I tend to stick away from... Uh, processed foods and uh, white foods, as in uh, white rice, white sugar. So in that sense, I don't know if you'd call that a diet. No, a lifestyle change is a better thing, I think. Like all these right. crash diets that you do for like a month or two months, and then you yo-yo, your weight goes up and exactly. down. They're really bad for you. Yeah, that's but true. But changing your lifestyle, that, that's the kind of approach I take as well. Like lots of fruit and veg, right. a balanced diet. Yeah. You don't eat too much red meat because there's more and more studies coming out saying it's not so good for you. So maybe once or twice a week. That's true. You know, I love meat. And like you, I eat lots of fruits and vegetables as uh -huh. well. But I also have to eat lots of meat. And I don't <laughs> think I could ever be a vegetarian. No, it's too delicious it's, to give up meat. Meat is too delicious. There's no other food that has that texture as well, right? Exactly. And I think you get more stressed if you avoid the foods you like. So even a little bit of junk food now and then. Right. I think everything in moderation is key. Yeah. So I'm a big advocate of being able to eat whatever you want, <laughs> but as long as it's in moderation. Sure, then but you I, can eat I sometimes it. get confused about what moderation is. Like, how often are you allowed to eat junk food? Like, the kind of information you get from uh, the news and stuff is always right. varying. So That's true. I'm not too sure. But one thing I never skip is breakfast, my favorite meal of the day. I love having breakfast, especially <laughs> for dinner. <laughs> breakfast at any time of the day exactly. is fantastic. Well, as I did mention earlier, eating the right amount of foods from different food groups, that is very important. Now, they talked about moderation, how it's key, and also balancing your diet is also very important. Eating the right foods, the right amount of good food, and of course, they did briefly talk about perhaps dieting, that is, uh, doing something in order to lose weight. Okay, let's check it out then. Of course, Rachel sure sounds like a very healthy person. She, she tries very hard to keep a healthy diet. But uh, first of all, Peter began by asking about going on a diet to lose weight. He asked, my wife is always stressing about her weight. And many girls I know are on a constant diet. Let's take a look at the sentence. It's a long sentence. Let's first of all break it up into two. Let's take a look at the top part right here. My wife is always, over and over, constantly stressing about her weight. You can stress about something, which means that she is under a lot of stress all the time because of her weight, okay? So one more time, you can say, I am so stressed out because of my weight. It's a long sentence. You could shorten it a little bit by saying, I am stressing out or stressing about my weight. We'll practice that pattern later on, so don't worry. And then she, uh, he says, many girls I know are on a diet, but it's not just a diet, it's a constant diet. Meaning, the girls I know, they're on a diet today, they're on a diet tomorrow, next month, 
the month after that, maybe next year. So they're on a constant diet, meaning they're always trying to do something to lose weight. And then he says, is that the same with you? Is that the case with you? Is that the same with you? Are you like that too? And Rachel says, hmm, I try to be healthy all year round. All year round is what? 365 days a year, okay? Every single day of the year. So she tries to be healthy the whole year, every single day of the year. And she says, I tend to stay away from processed foods and white foods, as in white rice and white sugar. So she's talking about foods that she tries to stay away from, not eat. In other words, stay away from means to avoid. I tend to avoid processed foods. I tend to stay away from processed foods. Processed foods, in this case, it's just, uh, I guess, a method of preparing food, the way it's prepared. Uh, actually, food that's manufactured in a way. Um, certain foods can be packed, right, in a package. They can be frozen. They can be put into a container, okay? So processed foods and white foods as in or such as white rice and also white sugar. So she's trying to what? Keep a healthy diet by avoiding certain foods. And she says, in that sense, hmm, I don't know if you would call that a diet. I would say it is, well, a healthy diet, but it's a different type of diet. In this case, of course, Peter asked a question about going on a diet, trying to lose weight. But of course, uh, Rachel is kind of talking about keeping a balanced diet, watching what you eat. So Peter says, a lifestyle change is a better thing, I think. All these crash diets that you do for like a month or two months, and then you yo-yo, okay? So what is a crash diet? A crash diet is something, well, a diet that you do suddenly, okay? A diet that you go on suddenly, like an extreme diet. You can crash for a test, which means study all at once, okay? Crash for a diet, I mean crash for a test or cram for a test as well. In this case though, if you say a crash diet, it means a diet that you go on suddenly and we're talking about an extreme diet where you basically starve yourself sometimes. Anyhow, he says all these crash diets that you do for months and months and then you yo-yo. What's the point of going on a diet? Yo-yo, meaning lose the weight and then you gain it all back. Your weight goes up and down. He's now talking about what? Yo-yo, okay. Moving on, and then he says, they're really bad for you. Bad for someone, they're bad for you. But changing your lifestyle, hmm. That's the kind of approach I take as well. The kind of approach somebody takes Meaning, that's what I try to do. That's what I do. That's the thing I do. That's the approach I take. And then he talks about what he does. Let's take a look. Lots of fruit and veg. He said veg. You know that word, right? Vegetables, a shortened form is veggies, even shorter, veg, veg, okay? Lots of fruits and vegetables, a balanced diet eating the right amounts of food from each different food group. We don't eat too much red meat. Okay, so no, no, not too much red meat because there are more and more studies, surveys, studies, experiments, things going on, coming out that says it's not, it's not, okay, so good for you. And then he says, so maybe once or twice a week. Now, that's how often he has red meat, maybe once or twice a week max, but he tries not to have too much red meat because there are studies and people talking about how red meat, uh, too much of it is not exactly good for you. Now, Rachel says, I love meat. And like you, just like you, I eat lots of fruits and vegetables as well, but I also have to eat lots of meat. Hmm. 
So meat's got to be included in her diet or her meals. Now she says, I don't think I can ever be a vegetarian. A vegetarian is an easy word. You know what a vegetarian is? A person that does not eat any animal products. Now, um, if it gets a bit more extreme, uh, they're called vegans as well, V-E-G-A-N. But basically, there are lots of vegetarians that choose to eat fruits and vegetables, uh, which try to stay away from eating meats, right? Anyhow, Peter says, no, it's too delicious, meaning I can't live without meat either. I cannot be a vegetarian either because it's meaning meat is too delicious. There is no other food that has that texture as well. Texture is what? Hmm. Texture is uh, the feel of something. Perhaps food has texture. Meat definitely has a certain texture to it. Uh, let's say, for example, this dress that I'm wearing, the skirt, it does have a texture to it, the fabric, of course. So a sweater, the texture of a sweater can be very soft, right? The texture of meat can be really tough mm, or it can be so tender that it will melt in your mouth, okay? It's the way uh, you actually, mm, the way it feels in your mouth when you chew the food, okay? And then moving on, uh, he says, and I think you get more stressed. You get more stressed if you avoid the foods you like. So even a little bit of junk food every now and then, he's saying, is good, okay? So he's saying, I know it's not good to just eat red meat. You should have vegetables and fruits. But then again, you'll get more stressed out if you don't eat the foods you like. And stress can be even worse for you. So he's saying, well, a little bit of junk food sometimes should be okay. Now, Rachel says, I think everything in moderation is key. Now, if something is key, it means that it is very important. It's essential. And in this case, if you say something, something in moderation, you're saying a little bit of this, a little bit of that, not too much, not too little. So you're saying somewhere in the middle. Okay, not too much, not too little basically means in moderation. So I'm a big advocate of being able to eat whatever you want as long as it's in moderation. So if you make sure that it's in moderation, I think it's a good idea. I'm all for. I support the idea of being able to eat whatever you want, okay? An advocate is basically a supporter of something, okay? We'll go over that word in just a bit. And then Peter says, sure, but sometimes I get confused about what? What moderation is, okay? How often are you allowed to eat junk food, he says, okay? How often? How often can you eat junk food? What is moderation? And he says, the kind of information you get from the news and stuff is varying, meaning it's very different. On the news, they say this. Somewhere else, they say that. So what you hear here and there, all are very, very different. They vary. So I'm not too sure, but he says, one thing I never skip, never skip is breakfast. My favorite meal of the day. And breakfast is my favorite meal of the day too, but I often skip breakfast. But anyhow, he's saying, well, I don't know what people mean by moderation. Uh, what is too much? What is too little? I have no clue, but I know one thing for sure. He says, one thing I never skip is breakfast, which happens to be my favorite meal of the day. And then they talk about what they love to eat for breakfast. Hmm. Now, Rachel says, I love having breakfast, especially for dinner. Hmm. Okay, they're not talking about what to eat, but she says, I love having breakfast for dinner. Ah. So what does that mean? What do people normally have for breakfast? Not in Korea. I think she's talking about, you know, like continental breakfast, things like that, like eggs and bacon and sausages, perhaps even, a, you know, steak. So she's saying, I love to have breakfast food for dinner. And then Peter says, yeah, breakfast at any time of the day is fantastic. Why? Because breakfast is his favorite meal of the day. 
Come to think of it, mm, I'm very much like Rachel and a bit like Peter as well because as she said, I love having breakfast for dinner and actually I love having steak and eggs for breakfast in the morning. Believe it or not, it's pretty good. Okay, here is today's actual talk one more time. So, Rachel, my wife is always stressing about her weight, uh -huh. and many girls I know are on a constant diet. That's true. Is that true. the same with you? I guess if you say constant <laughs> diet, that is true, because I try to be healthy all year round. Oh, wow. So, um, I guess a healthy lifestyle. So, sure. in that sense, I guess it's a constant diet. I, I tend to stick away from... Uh, processed foods and uh, white foods, as in uh, white rice, white sugar. So in that sense, I don't know if you'd call that a diet. No, a lifestyle change is a better thing, I think. Like all these right. crash diets that you do for like a month or two months, and then you yo-yo, your weight goes up and exactly. down. They're really bad for you. Yeah, that's but true. changing your lifestyle, that, that's the kind of approach I take as well. Like lots of fruit and veg, right. a balanced diet. Yeah. You don't eat too much red meat because there's more and more studies coming out saying it's not so good for you. So maybe once or twice a week. That's true. You know, I love meat. And like you, I eat lots of fruits and vegetables as uh -huh. well. But I also have to eat lots of meat. And I don't <laughs> think I could ever be a vegetarian. No, it's too delicious it's, to give up meat. Meat is too delicious. There's no other food that has that texture as well, right? Exactly. And I think you get more stressed if you avoid the foods you like. So even a little bit of junk food now and then. Right. I think everything in moderation is key. Yeah. So I'm a big advocate of being able to eat whatever you want, <laughs> but as long as it's in moderation. Sure, then but you I, can eat I it. sometimes get confused about what moderation is. Like, how often are you allowed to eat junk food? Like, the kind of information you get from uh, the news and stuff is right. always varying. So That's true. I'm not too sure. But one thing I never skip is breakfast, my favorite meal of the day. I love having breakfast, especially <laughs> for dinner. <laughs> breakfast at any time of the day exactly. is fantastic. <laughs> Now let's skim through these vocab words on today's actual expressions. They're pretty easy. So processed, once again, we talked about processed foods. Rachel tries to stay away from them. Now process, process, that's the way of pronouncing it. And I saw that in uh, yeah, British English, they pronounce it also as process, process, processed food. So it's basically a way of, I guess, um, you know, packaging food or uh, the way of making food, preparing food, especially when it comes to manufacturing. Also, vegetarian is vegetarian, vegetarian. Another word, as I did mention, is vegan. Now, these are people that stay away from all animal products, okay? They're also called vegans. Texture, the way something feels. It can be food or even things such as fabric. The pronunciation is texture texture and advocate. In the noun form, the stress goes on the first syllable, so it is advocate, advocate, okay? As a verb, it's advocate, it's different. Advocate, advocate. Also synonyms for that word is supporter, mm -hmm. proponent and also promoter. These are easier words, so Advocate means a supporter, a proponent, or even a promoter. Here are some patterns to check out. Stress about, remember? Peter said that his wife has been stressing about her weight. So you can say, hey, it's not good to stress about the little things. Don't worry about the little things. There are big problems too. Okay, one more time. It's not good to stress about the little things. Don't be stressed because of the little things. Another one, he always stresses about gaining weight. He always complains that he's stressed out because of his weight. Make it simple and short using this pattern. He always stresses about gaining weight. Okay, here let's move on to our next one. Stay away from means to avoid something. Now, I try to stay away from Salty foods. That's right. If you want to be healthy, less salt, right? So you can see I try to avoid salty foods. I try to stay away from salty foods. Another one. I have been staying away from meats for two months. Now, I have been staying away from something. Now, this shows that it is not a one-day thing. You have been doing this for quite some time, okay? Let's check out one more pattern. 
I love having something for breakfast, something for lunch, even for brunch or dinner. I love having a sandwich and yogurt for lunch. Okay, that's a very light lunch. Another one. I love having steak and eggs for breakfast. That is me, everyone. So yeah, you can just add, throw in whatever you like to eat for breakfast, lunch, brunch, or even dinner. Keep these patterns and vocab in mind. Maintaining a healthy diet. What do I do? Well, I think first of all, don't skip any meals. Number one, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. But breakfast, most of all, that's a meal you do not want to skip. I wake up every morning, no matter how busy my schedule gets, I try to tell myself, you got to get breakfast in. So I try to have a big breakfast, and the rest of the meals, I can go a little bit light, and I know it's going to be okay. And I think about maintaining a good diet is, you got to know what's your focus. Is it just losing weight, or is it just becoming a healthier person? Because first of all, losing weight isn't just always a good thing. If you're going to do it, you're going to do it in a healthy way. Um, I've done diets where I've taken all the dairy, carbs, salts, sugars, all out of my diet. But I realized, yeah, I did lose a lot of weight, decided to look cut and fit, but it wasn't really healthy for me. It's good to have a good balance of all things. Vitamins, the right kinds of fats, your, just the whole range. You want to make sure you have a balanced meal. And if you do that, you're going to feel good, you're going to feel healthy, and you're going to look great. So try to keep it balanced. Yeah, it's true. Uh, keeping a balance of everything is very important, I think. So I think we've been talking about that or mentioning balance, how it's key many, many times today. Now, uh, David did talk about how he tries to eat every single meal. Breakfast is very important to him. So he tends to have a large, a big breakfast, and then a rather slightly lighter lunch. And he definitely makes room for dinner as well. Uh, he did mention that, of course, when it comes to diets or dieting, you have to focus. Think about what it is that you want. Hmm. And it's a good thing to not only just lose weight, but also at the same time, think about your health. Okay, let's check out the wonderful things he mentioned today in actual story. He said, I think, first of all, don't skip any meals. Now, he's making a point. He says, hmm, I think, first of all, hey, don't skip any meals. Okay, he's making a point. He's stressing it. Okay, another one. I try to have a big breakfast. That's what he said. In this case, yes, it means a large breakfast, meaning he eats a lot for breakfast. Okay, our next one is you've got to know. You have to know what your focus is. Okay, is it losing weight or is it becoming a healthier person okay so ask yourself what it is that you want okay what's your focus do you want to lose weight or do you want to become a healthier person ask yourself that question that is what he is stressing and then we've got one more if you're going to do it meaning lose weight or perhaps change your diet well you've got to do it in a healthy way healthy way once again I do stress and David has stressed several times that balance is very important don't skip any meals make sure you have breakfast or even many more smaller portions throughout the day and make sure you get lots of vitamins minerals and food from each food group everyone okay I wish you the best and that brings us to an end to today's actual story maintaining a healthy diet what do I do well I think first of all don't skip any meals. Number one, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. But breakfast, most of all, that's a meal you do not want to skip. I wake up every morning, no matter how busy my schedule gets, I try to tell myself, you got to get breakfast in. So I try to have a big breakfast, and the rest of the meals, I can go a little bit light, and I know it's going to be okay. And I think about maintaining a good diet is, you got to know what's your focus. Is it just losing weight, or is it just becoming a healthier person? Because first of all, losing weight isn't just always a good thing. If you're going to do it, you're going to do it in a healthy way. Um, I've done diets where I've taken all the dairy, carbs, salts, sugars, all out of my diet. But I realized, yeah, I did lose a lot of weight, decided to look cut and fit, but it wasn't really healthy for me. It's good to have a good balance of all things. Vitamins, the right kinds of fats, 
your, just the whole range. You want to make sure you have a balanced meal. And if you do that, you're going to feel good, you're going to feel healthy, and you're going to look great. So try to keep it balanced. Yes, point made. You did mention that keeping a balanced diet and, you know, doing things for yourself, for your health will not only make you feel healthy, it'll make you feel even better. So the whole point is everyone, keeping a balanced diet is important, including the groups of food in each of your meals. Perhaps take vitamins, take in plenty of the good fats, the fats that our body needs. And keep in mind, in moderation and balance when it comes to dieting or even uh, keeping a very healthy diet. That is all for today. Next time I'll be joining you back with another topic and it is exercising. Now, uh, if we talked about the foods we ate to take care of our health, next time we'll talk about the things we can actually do, such as activities to keep healthy. Okay, please in the meantime, come to our homepage at www.ebse.co.kr and search for, just look for actual English and you'll find our homepage. Leave some comments, feedback and messages, questions, anything. You're more than welcome to do so. That is our app everyone. I'll catch you again next time. Bye for now.